All right, y'all. We finally back with Empire season three, episode eleven. Uh, I know this review is coming super late, and I gotta say, I actually don't like doing the Empire review. I just realized that I like doing love and hip hop because it's reality and stuff. It's easy to understand, but this Empire, I, I sometimes don't understand what's going on to be honest. And that's why I watch other people reviews to figure out what's going on. Cause it'd be some stuff that happened in this show and I'd be like, what in the world? What was that supposed to be? So bear with me cause I didn't understand a couple of things in this episode in particular. But anyway, we start off like this first scene. We start off with Cookie. She's showering and she's like, what have I done? And she's blood is coming into the drain and it's like a lot and i'm like where where's all that blood coming from i was confused but then i'm like oh last episode she touched lucius on the hand on the face but i'm like shouldn't that be just a little bit of blood on her hand and i was confused but apparently it was a lot of blood i don't know where it came from but she was washing it down the drain then we go to anika who's at empire and she, no anika walks into empire and she sees everything that happened. She's like, what happened? Lucius, I don't understand this part either. He said, we're still looking over footage. We're trying to figure out what happened. Who did this? I'm like, well, shouldn't you just tell her the truth? I mean, that's Anika. But anyway, whatever. Then Thirsty introduces this girl named Marty, who I thought was a man, personally. And she's going to be the mom's, Lucius's mom, new security. And <laughs> the mom even said, it. she's like, are you a boy or are you a girl? And I'm like, but he said her, she, Thirsty has said she. So that's how I figured out that the security was a girl. She really do look like a man though. But anyway, the grandma already don't like her. And uh, I think the grandma has to, oh, we seen some uh, video girls walk by. And uh, the grandma had saw Marty, who's the security guard, looking at one of the, uh, one of the um, girls in pink. That was a video girl. So the grandma has saw that had noticed that the security liked the girl in pink so this is a little foreshadowing for what happened later um the grandma said she had to go to the bathroom thirsty said okay well if you gotta go to the bathroom she gotta go to the bathroom if she gotta go to the bathroom you gotta go to the bathroom so marty goes to the bathroom with lucius's mom then we go to hakeem tiana and becky who are doing auditions for dance auditions for tiana's new video um Hakeem asked Becky a question, and Becky said, well, it's your video. Oh, no. Hakeem liked a blonde girl or something like that. And Becky was like, if you like her, then that's great. And Hakeem was like, okay, so we're done. And they're like, no, we still have 50 more auditions. So he was trying to rush the process, which is something I would do. Like, if I see one girl, that's why you should have just had them all. Well, I guess 50 more, that's kind of a lot. But, yeah, he was trying to rush their process and hurry up and get out of there. But Becky and Tiana was like, no. Then we see, um, oh, and ha Hakeem wanted, um, what's her name, Tiana to meet his daughter, Bella. And she's like, no, I'm not doing that. We're not doing that. She has a mom. I'm not trying to play stepmom right now. And she's like, oh, okay. But I do want you, Hakeem's like, oh, okay, but I do want you to meet her eventually. That's fine and good. Then Tiana says, uh, why is your grandma here? Hakeem gets up, goes to his grandma, who's with, of course, Marty, who we just got introduced to. And basically, um, the mom said, can you get that girl in pink? Which is the girl that Marty was looking at. The girl in pink comes over. Oh, for some reason, Marty walked away and started watching the performance. I'm like, shouldn't you be with mom? But whatever. Or the grandma, shall I say? Whatever. Then we go to... Or then we see um, the grandma asks the girl in pink to take this tissue or something walk over to marty with the big girl as she called her drop it on the ground and bend over and pick it up and the girl was like uh is this gonna give me a feature in the video or something like that and i came like just make my grandma happy and she went over and she did it and then the grandma said to hakeem I want to meet Tiana. That's going to be Bella's new stepmom. And he went to go get her, and the grandma snuck out. Because Marty was looking at the girl in pink, and Hakeem had left to go get Tiana. Then we see Jamal and Tori inside the studio. And um, Tori is making these jokes about cocaine constantly throughout the episode, or making jokes about drugs constantly throughout the episode. I think that she might still be 
on drugs maybe i'm not i'm not too sure though um and they just start singing they practicing a song then we go to Andre and Nessa, and they were looking at apartments. I think they're about to move in together or something like that. And Andre says that Nessa is real picky, and he want her to like basically give her apartment a chance before before don't turn it down before they walk in, cause she always turns them down. Then we see Frida, Frida guys, a bunch of shines people come in to the wherever they were, and. Um, we see Frida again, but only for like two seconds. And she's making a job, and we, uh, Shine introduces Andre to Danger, this guy named Danger, who, um, is a part of Shine's team or something like that. Andre tried to give Danger a handshake. Danger didn't want to. He's like, I'm not into meeting new people. Shine's like, this is not new people. This is family. You're going to have to accept Andre. Um, whatever. I think, uh, Danger spit and was like, no. And, uh, sounds like you got to clean that up. Then we see Angelo who arrives at Cookie's house, and Cookie was looking at a paper that said like, I don't know if he was mayor, if he wanted or something like that. But what I got from it was that he was mayor. But then when he comes in, Cookie said, "Hello, Mr. Mayor," and he's like, "It's finished. It's finished." And then you know he started kissing her, you know. Uh, Angelo noticed that Cookie had a little red spot on her wrist or arm, and she, he's like, "What happened there?" And she's like, "Nothing, nothing special, nothing important." And they start kissing. Um, Cookie's Cookie was looking for Lucia's inside Lucia's house, and he's like, "One second, one second, one second." He's in the bathroom. He comes out with Anika, and um. Cookie said, you need to want more out of life, honey, something like that. I'm surprised Anika is actually doing stuff with Lucius, though, because I thought she was done with him and didn't like him, but whatever. Cookie and Lucius go at it. Anika had left. Cookie and Lucius go at it. Lucius, or Cookie's like something about last night, and Jam uh, Lucia, Cookie told Jam um, Lucius not to mention it and stuff like that. Lucius is like, oh, you did this, you did that, blah, blah, blah. They was all out of arguing, like usual. Um, Lucius says, where is Jamal? Is he still performing that whack album? And um, Cookie said, whack, like um, you were the first one to think of the name Inferno. That's whack, stuff like that. Uh, Lucius said, what's going on between me and Nika is none of your business. You don't want me and stuff like that. Then we see Anika who arrived at the dance rehearsal. Um, She's talking to Becky. She says, she asked Becky about her work basically. And Becky's like, yes, I did this, I did that, I did this. All your work is taken care of. She gave Anika a little attitude. And I like this scene because Anika, it made me like Anika a little bit more because she said, you know, um, you didn't get the job because you were just Lucius's assistant and this, that, and the other. In two years, you'll have my spot. It was a real heart-to-heart -heart moment between the two. Um, Anika just basically praised Becky for like the whole time. And then um, she said, or Becky said, no, and Tiana came over and said, can you look at this, that, something. She asked Anika something, do something. And Anika said, Becky's in charge. I give her a full responsibility. Um, Becky called Anika over. She said, thank you. She gave her a hug. She said, I'm so glad you're back. So I like that between those two. And then we see Jamal and Tori in studio again. They have a little disagreement about something. I think like Tori note or something like that. It was a little too dirty, I guess. And she made another joke about cocaine and crack and drugs, basically. And Jamal's like, stop with that. She said, oh, she said, just because you're clean don't mean the music got to be clean. Um, Cookie was eavesdropping. She walked in like, why you got to do that, crackhead? I was kind of surprised that she said that, to be honest, because Jamal's right. Well, I guess Jamal didn't do crack, though, so but whatever. She was joking about that and how she needs to stop making jokes. Jamal's trying to defend her, saying it was just a joke. And Cookie's like, it wasn't funny, though. They go at it. Uh, Tori plays a guitar. Cookie agrees with Tori, but says Tori needs to... She gives her some advice. She's basically producing this help and produce it. She's giving her advice on the guitar because Jamal was playing the piano. They were making a song and Cookie helped out basically. 
Um, father can't hear. Oh, um, Cookie told Jamal that the father, Lucius, should not hear what they've been working on. And she told them to erase everything when they done. And they, they understood that. They said, okay, yes. Um, Tariq meets with the mom. I was so confused with this. I'm like, huh? Tariq? Because we know he got fired. Well, not fired, but on paid leave of his job because he keep trying to go after Lucius. Now he's meeting with the mom. The mom is telling him how she dislikes Anika so much and how Cookie dislikes Anika. And she said, boo boo kitty. I think this will come up a little later because they made sure to put it in. And he was like, who's boo boo kitty? And she explained what where that comes from and stuff like that. Real short scene. Um, but it had to mean something. They didn't put it in there for nothing, you know. We see Jamal and Tori performing in the studio again. Um, Tori tells a joke. Jamal says, don't ever say that again. I think she told a joke about Molly, something like that. And Jamal said, don't ever joke about that again. Nothing important. Just she keeps joking about drugs. Um, Tariq stopped Anika. Um... She was walking down the street. Tariq stopped her. He started questioning her. Here's the part where I don't understand. And I have to watch. I haven't watched the review on this episode yet. Because I'm doing this. But I'm going to watch some other people's reviews. And figure out what this was about. Because I really didn't understand it. He questioned her about something. She said no. And some witness protection talk. If you understood this scene. Just tell me in the comments below. But it was something. I don't. I, don't, I didn't understand it. So I can't really tell y'all. But Anika basically asks, what's going to happen about my daughter? And he says something. I don't know. I don't know what this scene. Basically, it got Anika scared. And I think Anika's about to do something to go against Cookie. Uh, we see Lucius in the studio by himself. He presses some button and he hears playback of Jamal and what's her name song. Um, then we see Lucius in the studio with his artist, Jamal and Tori and Cookie walk in. And they're like, we got this studio, this is our time. And um, Cookie's like, he can't even hear you, Jamal. And she has a flashback of when he in the studio, he can't hear her. Um, Lucius tells, oh, they walk out. He made some joke of. He said something to Jamal and Cookie. They walked out. Um, the last one to walk out was Tori. And Lucius says, I like your guitar or something like that. I like your work. And I'm like, uh-oh. He's about to try to snatch her up. Then we see Shine and, Shine and Andre in the studio. Shine tells Andre about this guy named Raphael. Um, I don't really understand this part either. I got to watch somebody's review of what Raphael and him we're about to. I know Raphael's about to help them with something, but I don't know exactly know what. Shine tells Andre he knows about the pills that he takes. He says Nessa tells me everything, so you better not ever hit her. Andre says I would never hit her. Um, I think they they've been going at it for the past two episodes. Shine is starting not to like Andre, but Andre says you have to go along with me or something like that. Um. Sean said the only reason Raphael agreed to meet with him is because he told Raphael that he was going to meet Lucius. And Andre said, well, you tell Raphael that no one meets Lucius until they meet me. Um, Andre says he needs Lucius alive long enough to make some deal. Um, then we see Anika in the park. She's crying, saying, I'm sorry, Bella. I got to do this to you. She's about to do something with Tyreek. So that's what I'm getting from this. He, she calls Hakeem. Hakeem has to take the baby. This was so stupid. Well, not stupid, but Hakeem acting like he can't take the baby. Like, it's not his baby. Like, why don't you call this person? Why don't you call that person? She's like, this, this is not their baby. It's yours. So he had to take the baby. He acted like he was so mad to do it. But whatever. Then we see Cookie inside Empire and her assistant, I forget her name, but she told Cookie that these suspicious people are looking for you. Cookie looks at the people. She calls um, Angelo to come pick her up. He picks her up. She gets in the car. She's like, these people looking for me, this, that, and the other. Um, Andre figured, finds out that they're violating her parole for hanging out with a known felon. She's like, I don't know why, what that got to do. Like, all these artists is felons. Stuff like that. Andre says, we need to find out who did this who called them on you. 
and he says, all right, this got to stop. I'm going after Lucius. And I'm like, you going after Lucius? Look at all these other people that try to go after Lucius. Look what happened to them. You definitely don't look like you can go after Lucius. You a little mayor. Yeah, you got a DUI, but that's your only record. That's your only criminal record. Like, no. I thought Cookie was going to try to stop him, but she didn't. And he's trying to go after Lucius. He talking about Lucius here doing stuff. Then we see Derek with Jamal. Um, basically, he trying to flirt with Jamal. Jamal says, um, I'm not working with you no more. I got a new one. It's Tori Ash, who I'm working with. We met in rehab, this, that, and the other. Derek is like, all right, I don't mind. He tried to flirt and stuff, touch on Jamal. Jamal's like, no, I only messed with you when I was high and I was an addict. And he's like, okay, blah, blah, blah. Um, Jamal, um, Jamal, basically, Jamal said, I can't mess with you no more. My, you even not, You're not even out and my whole comeback is about truth and honesty and you're not neither one of them and Derek just kissed him and he left that's the end of that um Tiana is at her little dance thing and she asks Becky why haven't they started yet why aren't they ready to start Becky says Hakeem's not here right when Tiana was about to get mad Hakeem walked in with the baby she's like why is the baby here he explains what happens she holds the baby um I thought it was kind of weird for some reason, I thought Tiana was going to do something, but then I'm like, oh, it's Tiana. She ain't going to do nothing. She a normal girl. Now, if it was Naomi Campbell's character or if it was Nika, stuff might happen. Then again, it's so funny that I'm, that we so accepting of Anika being back, we forget some of the stuff she did. This girl literally killed two people. She killed, um, what's her name, baby? Um, and she killed Andre. So she killed Andre's baby and Andre's wife, so... I find that kind of funny that we accept Anika back or whatever. Um, we see Angelo and Lucius. And Angelo's like basically cousin of Lucius, going at it with Lucius. And he not backing down. And Lucius is saying, you know, I'll find out who did this, but it wasn't me. But you need to calm down. Um, Angelo gets a phone call. He answers it. And Lucius says to Cookie, um, you know who this is. It's Tariq. It's Tariq. He's probably going to make you do this, that, and the other. And she's like, oh, so you want me to serve more time for you? And he's like, what you mean for me? It's not for me. I love how you try to spin this back on me. And she's him and Cookie go at it once again. Um, Angelo threatens Lucius before they leave. And Lucius just laughs and shakes his head. I'm like, yeah, Angelo, you need to back down. Because you go end up getting killed in the end of this. You don't want to go at it with Lucius. We see a quick scene of Anika crying on a bus. I don't know what's going on with her. Um, I'm going to have to look more into this. I can tell you I'm more next week. <laughs> then we see uh, Lucius walking down the hallway with Jamal. And he's telling Jamal, you know, you helped me with this. And I got a bigger studio, a better studio, this, that, and the other. He's like, all right, all right, all right. He's like, you got, gave me my missing piece. And we see... Tori Ash walk out playing the guitar and Jamal uh, Lucius was like she told me you didn't like that I don't know why you like that Jamal gets super mad because at first he was vibing with Lucius then he's like no you stole my artist and my song so then we see him with some man Jamal with some man I don't know who this guy was and he burned the song he's like I don't know why I trusted her I trust her in rehab there's nothing the other and him and the man um Oh, the man, he started telling them more about Tori. They burn the song, and him and the man kiss. Not special. Jamal, never mind. Angelo is having dinner with Cookie and her sister. Angelo says Cookie can't stay tonight unless they're married. The sister agrees. She says it's about time my sister have a real wedding. We get a flashback of Cookie and Lucia's first wedding and how it was at a potluck, some stuff like that. Um... Oh, and I forgot to, I missed the scene where Cookie was talking to her sister earlier. And she said, yeah, I can't believe this happened. I can't let it go that far. I need to tell Angelo. And the sister said, no, don't tell Angelo. Um, just let it be. I'm not going to let Lucius ruin this for you. And that's why Cookie is not telling Angelo and told Lucius not to say nothing about what happened. Um, then... Oh, the sister said about the proper wedding. We see the flashback. That's the end of that. We see Shine, Danger, 
and Andre meet up with Raphael and saw some dark place. I like the scene a lot. I even though I didn't really understand who Raphael, what's going on with Raphael and his wife. Danger and Raphael agree that why is Andre there? They don't know why Andre's there. Um, then we get introduced to the wife, who is Naya or Nia Long's character. I love the way she walked in. This was such a good scene. Just her intro and how she walked in. Um, and it's kind of ironic that she came in like this, all dark and stuff, because she's known, she's a known villain, <laughs> like for real now, because of all the reports that came out about how she don't get along with this person, she don't get along with that person, she was bossy and this, that, and the other. She had to film her scenes by herself. If y'all don't know about that, just look it up. Apparently, she didn't get along with a lot of people. Nia Long, when she was doing this, or Nia Long, whatever her name is. Basically... Raphael is choking up his wife and saying, did you know this? You set me up. You set me up. This, that, and the other. Um, he's hitting her and stuff. She says, do you know her? He says, do you know this girl? And uh, Andre's like, no, but I don't mean I got, I'm all right with you putting your hands on her like that. He throws her to the side and says, I'll deal with you later. And his wife kills him, shoots him, and kills him. And then Danger's like, why would you do that? He pulls out his gun, getting ready to kill her. And Shine, <laughs> Shine not only killed Danger, at least I think this was Danger. He killed Danger and then some. He kept shooting them while he was dead. Well, I'm assuming that they did. Kept shooting them. So we see Shine kill somebody and the wife kill somebody. The wife is doing some deal with them. So I guess it was a setup. I don't know why Shine killed his kill danger. I'm conf I'm confused. I, I gotta watch other people reviews to figure out what's going on. <laughs> but anyway, Nia Long or Nia Long is now a part. She's doing a deal with Shine and Andre. Andre is going full on trying to kill Lucius. I hope this doesn't end up getting Andre killed though. I really don't. Um, Andre asked Nia Long or Nia Long what, how long is what her husband been doing this to her, and she said it don't matter. They just trying to do this deal, and that's the end of this episode. Um, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. This was an okay episode, real confusing for me. I can't wait to go watch some other reviews, but hopefully next week. And the previews look real good for this season, so I can't wait.